The first authentication we want to set up is going to be Facebook. To get started with the Facebook authentication, we're going to Google search for Facebook developers and go to developers.facebook.com. Then we'll click the drop down in My Apps and click Add New App. Set the display name to Smart Lock and then click Create App ID. If available, click the I'm not a robot box and click Submit. Next, in Facebook Login, click the Setup button. We're building a web app, so click the www web icon. Next, we need to copy the domain from our Auth0 and paste that into the site URL. After you save that, click Continue. Because Auth0 handles most of this for us, we can skip past these next couple sections. Next step, we'll want to go into the App Review tab and make this public. Uh-oh, when we tried to make it public, it says we need to add a Terms of Service or Privacy Policy URL. I've already got one of these set up. It's default and very basic. If you don't have one set up, you can use the one that I've got here, voicefirsttech.com forward slash assets forward slash PDF forward slash privacy hyphen policy dot PDF. Now when we go back to App Review and we make it public, we can see that it wants a category. For our smart lock category, what we'll do, um, how about we select utility and productivity. Then go into basic settings. Here's where we get our information for Auth0. Go back to the social tab into the Facebook connection and then copy the app ID and app secret into Auth0. Once you've pasted both of those, you can see all of the information and attributes we could get from Facebook. But again, we just need the basic info from them to sign them in. So we can go ahead and exit out all the way down at the bottom. We'll click Save. Let's check out what the Google sign in actually does by clicking the Try button. Once you sign in with one of your Google accounts, we can see that it works. It's awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's go back and see if we can try the same thing with our Facebook one. Once you enable the Facebook authentication, turn off any app that you don't want to use, make sure that your information is correct, and then click the Try button. All right, it looks like I got an error. Click in Products, Facebook Login, go into Settings, and then paste in the valid OAuth redirect URLs your URL forward slash login forward slash callback. Now when we try it, we can see that our Facebook login works. We have to be sure to add in a callback URL that's approved for our source.